Okay, so in this video, we will use the fundamental properties of logarithms to simplify two expressions. So the first will be the logarithm base 6 of 4 plus the logarithm base 6 of 9. So what we have here is a sum of logarithms with the same base, and we're going to ask quite simply, can we simplify this expression? Well, if you recall, a fundamental property of logarithms is that the logarithm of a product is the sum of the individual logarithms. So we can go backwards. If we have a sum of logarithms that have the same base, we can combine as a single logarithm by multiplying the two arguments together. So 4 times 9. And again, if you're not sure of this, go backwards. The log of a product is the log of the first term plus the log of the second term. So this checks out. And now what's interesting is that if you multiply 4 and 9, well 4 times 9 is 36. And 36 is a perfect square. It is 6 squared. And of course the logarithm base 6 is the inverse function of the exponential function base 6. So these two cancel and we're left simply with 2. So the logarithm base 6 of 4 plus the logarithm base 6 of 9 is equal to 2. Let's now look at a difference of logarithms. So what if we have the logarithm base 5 of say 24 minus the logarithm base 5 of 3. Well, if you recall, looking at this, the logarithm of a product is a sum of logarithm. Well, the logarithm of a quotient is the difference of the logarithms. So this will be the logarithm base 5 of 24 divided by 3. And again, if you're not sure, go backwards. The log of a over b is the log of a minus the log of b. So this checks out. We can simplify further. 24 is divisible by 3. The result, of course, is 8. So we have the logarithm base 5 of 8. And now here we could do one last manipulation. But you'll see that which of the two answers is the best is debatable. So we now have reduced this difference of logarithms as a single logarithm, the log base 5 of 8, but you can think of 8 being 2 cubed. And now of course the base of the exponential does not match with the base of the logarithm, so we can't just cancel these two but we can use another property of logarithms, which is if you take the log of an exponential, which is our case here, you can move the exponent up front of the log as a constant multiple. So this is the same as 3 times the log base 5 of 2. And you see why I'm saying that it's not clear which answer is best. Here we have a single log, no multiple up front. We have log base 5 of 8, here we have log base 5 of 2, so a smaller integer, a prime, but we gain a, an integer multiple up front of the log. So in this case, both answers are what I would consider perfectly legitimate simplifications of the original difference of logs. And that's it.